Having great layered worship patches is really important for any keys player, but it doesn't have to be super complicated or time consuming to come up with these patches from scratch. Today, I want to give away five free layered worship patches that I made myself in just a few minutes each. And I wanna share the process of how I made these layered worship patches with you because it doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Let's dive right in. I wanna give these five new layered patches to you. I'm David from sundaysounds.com where our focus is equipping and inspiring worship leaders and worship keys players to take their keys rig to the next level in software like Mainstage or Ableton Live. So I have Mainstage 3 open and our Sunday Keys templates specifically loaded in, but you don't have to own Sunday Keys to make use of this concept. And if you're in Ableton Live, you're gonna be able to follow right along, just combine the instrument racks instead of the patches as I move through this process. To create all of these layered patches, I'm using individual sounds from our free patch of the week archives. Every single week for three or four years now, we have been sending out a new free worship patch to everybody that subscribes to the Sunday Sounds newsletter. To date, we have sent out over 200 free main stage patches, and we are getting close to 100 Ableton Live worship patches as well. And we've just recently refreshed and repackaged these downloads so that you get a single download file that includes the entire back catalog if you want the main stage or Ableton Live formats. So we thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to create great layered worship patches using some of these sounds. Now I've downloaded the main stage back catalog. There's over 200 patches here. When you download, you get a simple installer that places them in your main stage folder. So all you need to do is create a new patch in your patch list, head down to user patches in the inspector, and then go to free patches. And here we can see all of the free patches that are available right now that are a part of this download. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a layered patch by browsing through these patches to find something that sounds interesting. So let's start off with sort of a meat and potatoes sound. How about a really nice electric piano? I know that I like this elegant EP sound. Okay, really cool electric piano sound. So now I'm just gonna duplicate this patch because it keeps me in the same folder if I do that. It saves me a little time in main stage. And I'm gonna add another sound here. So let's find a great pad. How about this dream pad? Really cool pad. How about one more layer to sort of take this to the next level? Let's check out this dripping cycles. We're gonna stay right around here in the alphabet. I love this patch, it is super cool. All right, really interesting. So now I'm gonna combine these into a single layered patch by selecting them all by holding shift on my keyboard. This is in main stage and then I'm gonna choose new patch from selected patches. This is how the patch builder workflow of Sunday Keys is set up as well, except that populates to these main sections. If you're in Ableton Live, you can add these instruments to individual tracks, or you can combine multiple instruments inside a single instrument rack, as long as you have enough processing to handle it on that track. Either approach is fine, it's just a matter of preference. Okay, so we've got all three of these layers combined now. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. really love how that turned out. Those three layers together fill so much space without being too aggressive. I think I'd use a sound like this when I needed to sort of sit underneath what the rest of the band was doing because that dripping cycles arpeggiated sound is going to sort of add a little bit of texture and interest to what the band is doing without sticking out on top of the mix or getting in the way of the vocals. Now, if we wanted to, we could adjust the layer range of these instruments a little bit, or we could go in 
and make individual adjustments to the channel strips, but you don't always have to tweak at that level. We try to dial these patches of the week in to be pretty darn ready to use right out of the box. So I'm really happy with how this patch turned out. Okay, now I've repeated this process by adding three more individual instruments. We're creating another layered patch. I have three ingredients that I wanna show you. The first is a really cool piano sound that's got a little synthetic layer behind it that sounds really awesome. And then after that, we have a great pad. That really sounds like a synth string. And then lastly, we have a really cool synth bass sound. Nice and subby, and then if you open up the filter, it gets a little bit resonant. Really cool sound. So all three of these layers together sound really great. Check this out. Again, I didn't do any tweaking to the EQ or the layer ranges really here. Uh, it just works out of the box and I love the amount of space that I'm able to fill. To me, the star of this patch is definitely that chime piano preset because it's sort of able to sound like a piano and a lead synth at the same time because there's those two layers there. So I think you could really use this for any worship song. If you upped the tempo so that the delay was matching, you could play something upbeat. <laughs> Or if you slow the tempo down, you could. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I've named it Deep Inhale. And let's move on to the third free layered patch. For this one, I wanted to do something that was focused on synths because there's dozens of really cool synth presets in the patch of the week archive. So I have three layers here. The first is called Anthem Synth Brass. So a relatively sort of subdued, thin sounding synth brass sound, super retro, super analog. Uh, and with lots of modulation in the sound. So that sort of spreads it out and keeps it from being too aggressive or too bright. And then below that, I've got this synth fuzz bass. Which is really, really awesome. And then in the middle, we have this crisscross arp, which I absolutely love. It sounds like this. Through these three layers together, didn't make any changes to the layer ranges or to the channel strips themselves, and it sounds like this. would work really well for a keys two position or a song where you specifically want to get away from playing a piano sound. So if you've got a set list that's really piano heavy and you want to mix it up, using something like this can work really well. Leaves lots of space for acoustic guitar to lead or for electric guitar parts to shine. This patch is called Power Packed. Let's move on to patch number four. For this one, we went pretty experimental and I love how it turned out. I've got three layers here if you're not picking up on a theme. We're using three layers for all of these patches. This one is called Chroma Guitar, the first preset that sort of uh, laid the foundation for what I wanted this patch to be. It 
it's sort of a warped, distorted, uh, mixed up, garbled guitar sound. It's got a hint of like a feedback feel to it. And this sort of haunting, sort of aching quality that I really, really like. Next up, we've got this warm bath pad that I really love. This is uh, uses a great sound design technique where you create this moving pad sound by quickly arpeggiating notes with uh, some reverb and delay to spread that sound out over time. Lastly, we've got a sound bed called Drifting Sound Bed. This one immediately grabs your attention because it is powerful in the low end. As you open the filter up, there's this really cool sort of noisy high end that makes it great as a sound bed. So this is sort of filling the role of bass, texture, motion, ambience, and there's this sort of organ quality to the synth in the mid range. So these three layers came together in a patch I named Saturn Has Rings. I didn't do any adjustment to the channel strips or to the layer ranges. It's all stock and this is what it sounds like. One more to show you, let's talk about patch number five. This one ended up being called Leading On because it's focused on a few different lead sounds that I thought were really cool. This first one's called Chiffon Lead. It's got layer range only in the right hand. Next we have Bamboo Pluck. And then lastly, another sort of guitar-esque patch called Guitar Space. This patch on its own has two layers, one that sounds sort of like a guitar being plucked really aggressively, and then another pad layer. So these three layers combined ended up really, really cool. This patch is called Leading On. This is what it sounds like. So that's five new layered worship patches just from browsing this giant catalog of free patches. Again, just to give you a little bit of an idea of all that is here, I'm scrolling through these presets and there are literally over 200 free worship patches on the main stage side. And by the time this video is released, almost 100 for Ableton Live users. So it's an awesome way to be able to create your own layered worship patches, even if you're just using a stock main stage concert or a stock Ableton Live set. You don't have to make any other purchases to get great worship sounds. So I hope that you'll check out these five new layered worship patches. They're available right now as a download to everybody that subscribes to our newsletter. So you'll be able to download not just the full back catalog of free patches, but now these new layered patches as well. Lastly, if you are new to Ableton Live or Main Stage, or maybe you've been using it for a while, but you're not happy with the results, and you've spent some time with these free patches and you want to take your sounds to another level, we'll also include a link in the description to our Sunday Keys template, which is our flagship resource for Main Stage and Ableton Live Worship Keys players. It comes with hundreds of ready to play, individual sounds, and amazing layered worship patches, more complex, more in depth with more control than these free patches alone. Plus you get this great interface that you've seen on screen here in main stage and a custom setting for session view if you are in Ableton Live. We've taken all the difficulty out 
of not just finding, but also creating great layered worship patches. And Sunday Keys makes it simple to perform because everything is clearly labeled, neatly organized, optimized for live performance, and color coded. And don't get me wrong, you can get awesome results with just these free patches. So take your time to dig in, see what's there, and then when you're ready for the next level, check out Sunday Keys. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Go grab those free patches via the link in the description. Leave a comment and let us know which of the five is your favorite. And we'd also love to hear from you with your own free patch of the week, layered patch creations. So download the full catalog, spend some time exploring what's there and come up with some own layered patches of your own and let us know what you come up with in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.